Hey everybody, my name is Mike Tomorrow, and I want to welcome you to the latest episode of My Life with Asperger's. Today's topic, we're going to be uh, continuing our series with the autism in the media. Uh, there was a story that was on the NBC Nightly News this past week that dealt with uh, people, adults with autism and Asperger's getting jobs in the technology field and... There was this one school out in Texas that was featured. And when I was watching it, it was pretty interesting. And I'm hoping to get more information about the uh, school and the company. And hopefully maybe I can get a job with them too. You know? It sounded pretty nice. And I looked and I saw the news clip on TV last night. And it was pretty interesting that they have places like this. Aspire Tech up in Chicago is one of these places too. And I tried contacting them earlier in the year and they don't accept applications from out-of-towners. Now, I'm going to try to get this one in Texas and see if they're willing to... Uh, hook me up with the program because it sounds interesting and it sounds like something I can probably do. You know, the school, the business is uh, called Nonpareil Institute and it's located in Plano, which is outside of Dallas. And it sounds interesting. I don't mind going to school. I already got my bachelor's degree, so I don't know if I need any more schooling to get a position with this company. But I'm also wondering if they would allow out-of-towners to come and apply and be a part of their team. Because I think I'd be a great asset for their team because of my knowledge of Asperger's and my experience with dealing with Asperger's and autism. You know, I'd be a great fit for their school and a great fit for their company. These people that go to the school eventually land full-time jobs with non -parels. So, I mean, this is one opportunity I don't want to miss if I get the opportunity to do so. You know? I don't want to miss up an opportunity here like this. You know? I'm going to try to get more information. I'm going to try to contact them for more in the way of information and see if they they're willing to accept me and if they're willing to accept me I'm willing to move down to Plano, Texas you know and do this for a living and some other students create programs and apps for the telephone and or actually the cell phone and I could do that too I have ideas in my mind I could probably create a program where people can create maps right on their cell phone or create a campground directory for for all of the country and the world on the fo on the phone the app you know I could do a listing of campgrounds and you know I could be a person that changes the world and if I'm given the correct tools I could do something like that you know the the other students create games on there too and I don't mind creating games because I have ideas for games for uh, the phones and the computers you know it's like it's this is gonna be a great opportunity for me if I get the opportunity to do so and I'm hoping to get a contact with the school because I feel that I need to do it, you know. Now, I'm going to put the link of the article on the on the description of the video on the YouTube page. So, I'll put the link on there so that you can look at it as well. And there is a video on there. I'm not going to play any of the video on here because of the fact that I'm once again using a cell phone for my... Uh, videos here because my webcam's not working and it's driving me nuts that it's not working so but anyways here's the story as it is at the nonpareil institute 
an autism diagnosis isn't an impediment to developing a meaningful career. The nonprofit provides technology training, teaching software skills to students with autism, and then hiring those students to design games, apps, and ebooks. And then the article goes on here. Dan Selleck, whose son was diagnosed with autism, had a big idea to train and then hire autistic students to work with technology. In 2008, he formed his nonprofit, the Nonpareil Institute, which teaches software skills to those with autism and then hires many of them. Now these workers are increasingly finding themselves in demands for the skills they've learned. You know, I am very good with computers. I have very good computer skills. So I mean, I could actually try to get a job with them, try to get more learning so I can know how to design the apps, design the technology for people to use. And I'd be a great asset for their program. So I'm hoping to get a hold of them. And we'll see how it goes from there. You know? You never know in this world what opportunities lie ahead of you. And I do have to thank my mother for this, too. For this idea. Because it was this past weekend that she was looking up stuff like this for myself. And she came across non Perel And... I feel that this is a great thing. It's like she told me about it this past weekend, and then I heard about from one of my autism groups that I'm on, on Facebook, that they're going to have a story on NBC Nightly News featuring autism in the workplace. And there you go. They have the school that my mom was just telling me about, the non in Plano, Texas. You know? So, I mean, this makes sense for a person like me to try to get a position in Texas. I don't mind moving to Texas. You know, I'm willing to give it an opportunity here. You know? And I feel that, you know, I, this is a calling that I'm looking for. You know? So, wish me good luck on that. Wish me luck on getting contact with them and maybe possibly a new career with them you know but like I said I will post the link on the the YouTube page here so that you can look at the story too because there is a video on here and then I'll also post the link of the non Institute so you can look at the school and all you know so I'll talk to you guys all later I hope that if you have, if you are autistic or have Asperger's, and if you're an adult, you might want to check this out too, no matter where you are in the country, because it might be for you too, so, just a heads up, alright, I'll talk to you guys all later.